Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video here on the YouTube. I wanted to share with you guys a quick little trick that I use to transition between grades on a shot. This is something that I use all the time and it's it's kind of a, a dirty little secret. A Da Vinci Resolve dirty secret, secret resolve thing. <sighs> I have this shot, this drone shot going over this barn. Starts out, there's a big sun flare and then once it raises up, we kind of lose detail in these trees. So if we grade it for the end of the shot, kind of bring up some of these mid-tone details. That looks pretty nice. But the beginning of the shot is kind of bright. You totally might like it this way. It's okay to leave it this way. This is kind of just an example of the technique. Now, I also did a grade for the start of it. Maybe adds a little bit more yellow into this flare. Kind of brings the mid-tones down a little bit. But when it goes up, it looks awful in these trees. So there's a bunch of ways that we could transition from this grade into this grade. We could use keyframes, we could use the key output slider like I showed you a couple videos ago. But a really quick and dirty way of transitioning between grades is using the edit tab. So what I'm gonna do is switch over to the edit tab and I'm gonna make a cut in this clip just using my razor tool somewhere in there. Now if I switch over to color, you'll see I have two clips. One clip is the beginning, one clip is the end. So on the end clip, I'll do my grade for the end of the shot. And then at the beginning of the clip, I'm gonna turn off my end grade and turn on my start grade. So now we have the beginning looking nice and the end looking nice. But if we were to play it right now, you'd see a big jump in the colors. So no problem, let's switch over to the edit tab, right click on this edit, and say add 24 frame cross dissolve and just drag this out. Then I can roll this around and adjust this transition how I want in the edit tab without having to deal with keyframes or anything like that. So now I can play this and we have a nice smooth transition between those grades. And if I wanna go into it a little faster, I can move this up. So there we go. There's a nice seamless transition in between our grades doing some color trickiness within the edit tab, not just the color tab. Because you know, DaVinci's not just for coloring no more. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like, and for more post-production, color grading, DaVinci Resolve tutorials, and probably some other things at some point, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My name is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.